Strong CNAs, a show for CNAs by CNAs. I'm your host, Wendell, and this is my lovely co-host, Angel. Hello, and we are here at Maribel Care Center in Phoenix, Arizona. And today's show, we will be talking about dealing with behaviors. That's right, Angel. And we have some very special guests to help us with that. On that note, Angel, are you ready to start the show? I sure am, Wendell. Well, in that case, let's get this party started. Party over here. Let's have a conversation. Let's talk singing names. Let's talk singing names. Let's talk singing names. Okay. Let's have a conversation. Uh, thank you for being on the show. And if you would, can you introduce yourself and tell us how long you've been in the scene? Hey, so my name is Brianna Higgins, and I just started being a CNA in August. All right, fresh me, fresh me, fresh me. All right, all right. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm Sandra Allen, and I've been an NACNA for 45 years now, plus. All right, all right. All right. It's still going. Uh, it's still that's going. mama. <laughs> I'm Kylie Zapp. I've been a CNA since I was 16. All right. All right. And how old are you now? I'm 26. Oh, okay. So right. about 10 years. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. I was an EMT for two. Oh, all right. All right. All right. Nice. Nice. Jessica Gloria, and I've been an LPN for eight years and a CNA five years before. Oh, wow. All right. Great to have you on the show with us, Jessica. Thank you, Jessica. All right. So as you guys know, this is a, a CNA show, a show for CNA by CNA. So we just want to ask you guys just a few questions and just answer with your feelings, okay? All right. So what made you choose this profession? To, as a CNA, I should say, since we have a nurse in the in the house. <laughs> but what made you be a nurse as well? But what made you uh, choose this profession to be a nurse? I'm a CNA. I'm sorry. CNA. Well, I think CNA. In order to get to the top, we gotta start to the bottom. From the bottom. So I think CNA was like a good step in order to way, work your way up to the top. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, you get to help everybody and understand what they're going through so you know how and why they're functioning the way that they are. Okay, okay. Down the Then I uh, chose being a CNA. I got my degree in bookkeeping, but I wasn't happy with it, so I went back to being a uh, uh, NA, and uh, I just like elderly. They are my life. They're, they're everything mm -hmm. to me. I just love the elderly, the sick, mm -hmm. and the frail. You know, mm -hmm. That's the reason why mm -hmm. I chose to Stay as a CNA. Right, right. And who want to read a book, right? <laughs> <laughs> Type it in. Yeah, who want to do that? We had to, we had to take heat. <laughs> 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 All right. Yeah. Well, I think the reason why I chose to my mom was a occupational therapist, mm -hmm. and every year she would bring us to her nursing home that she worked at, and I would interact mm -hmm. with them. She mainly worked with dementia, and I just wanted to figure mm -hmm. out how they function. If I can make them smile, I knew I was doing something right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. That's that hard. Yeah, that's yes, that hard. Yes, yes. 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 Do that. All right. Yeah, and I think it's the same thing, just helping people, caring for people, loving people mm -hmm. when they're at their lowest and they need us the most. Okay. Right. Yes. All right, all right, that sounds yes. good. I like that. So we have what, probably a total of, uh, I don't know, uh, I didn't add it up, what, 60 years of, of seeing that profession at least, <laughs> at, least, right. at least, all right. That's awesome. All right, that's good. So, um, what would what would you ladies? Um, what would you say is more challenging, working with skilled or behavioral? Oh, sorry, Jessica. Ooh. Um, I, it's it's different. Uh, <laughs> skilled. Skilled is hard. I feel like you're constantly going. Sometimes behavior slows down a little bit, but you're always watching for those triggers. You're always, it's constant. You're constantly just watching and, you know, redirecting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they're both, but it, I think behavior is more of a challenge. Is there like, uh, in skill, I know you can play your day. 
Right. Can you plan your day when you're doing behaviors? No. You mix it up. No. You got to go with yeah. every day. Every day is a different day. <laughs> every hour is a different hour. So. Okay. Yes, it's very challenging. They keep you guessing. Yeah. <laughs> you got to be on your P's and Q's. <laughs> I, mean, I, I was, today I worked in the, the, um, the behavior unit and mm. it was like, it was slowed down and everything, but you know, we had to, you know, be on our guard you know, what everybody was doing mm-hmm. they were doing something different somebody wanted to try to get up on their own and they really can't you got to <laughs> right, make sure right. you know all of that so it, it is a, a big difference right, you know? right it is it is Brianna now I, as I understand it when you was introducing yourself you're a new CNA yes yeah new CNA <laughs> we say August yeah that's a new CNA what is that like for you uh, to start right into, jump right into behaviors? Well, like Mama said, every day is something different, but mm-hmm. I think like each patient or each neighbor, so we call them now, um, they have their own way of handling each situation. So some people, food calm them down or sometimes mm-hmm. music. I think it's um, depending on what you learn about the patient. Mm-hmm. Really, mm-hmm. Um, really is like the main focus for us because then you can know what calms them down or what triggers them or why they do certain things. Mm-hmm. The past usually um, is more important to why they're having a behavior. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's where patient yeah. and care comes right. in too. Mm-hmm. You know? And I have to add that she's willing to learn. Mm-hmm. She, she always asks the questions. She, she, she's <laughs> what would you do if mom if this happened? So she's willing to learn. Yeah. So she, you know, that would make her an awesome yeah. person. So, really so Brianna is one of the rookies you want to take up out of the way. Let's lie. Let's yes. lie, dude. That's right. Okay. All right. So uh, describe a perfect day. <laughs> when I go home, knowing that I did the best that I could do. All right. Knowing that no one got hurt or injured in any kind of way, not meant to speak physically or or any other way, you know, that would make me happy. That's okay. what I know I had an awesome day. All right, all right. What right. about you? For me, if I can at least make that person smile and or laugh or know that they've had a good day and they're smiling and laughing and saying bye to me when I'm leaving. Mm-hmm. I know I did something yeah, right. I can right. sleep. She's, she's very good. Right. <laughs> she's very good at that. Too. Okay. Okay. Anybody else? Um, I think what most people don't really see sometimes is that CNAs are kind of like work as a team. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. each section, even though that may not be our patient, I feel like as long as we help each other and the patient gets what they fully need that day, and I think it's a, like I think that would be the perfect day that everybody gets what they need and everybody's satisfied. Nobody's overworked. Nobody's just chilling in the back. Like I think that if everybody's doing their job together, that it'll make the day easier. Mm-hmm. This teamwork makes the dream work. Yes, it does. Mm-hmm. Oh Already. <laughs> That's my Already. saying right there. <laughs> what about you? I think the same thing. Just teamwork. Mm-hmm. Having you know your co nurse. On the same page as mm-hmm. you, your your whole team. It just mm-hmm. makes everything go smooth. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. So, so we're talking about behavior. So, and you guys say team. So, with the looking at it from the team aspect, is it would it be a difference in being a team in behaviors as as it would be a team with skill? Is I would you say? I would you say it's it's, it's equal. It's equal, you know. Okay. Because, you know, you need a bigger. You really need support in behavior. Mm-hmm. You know, you need that extra eye. You know, when it's something I don't see, I'm watching it, but then you know, there's something that other our uh, team see that I might not see. Right, right, right. She right. sees something that she might not see. Okay. So yeah, uh, it plays a big part okay. because. Uh, you almost need eyes in the back of your head because you never know. <laughs> they could just be walking down the hallway okay. by passing one another. Uh-huh. But that one CNA where I wasn't looking that way, she was. So, uh-huh. yeah, it does. It, okay. Well, not only uh-huh. that, if you have partners with you and somebody is throwing behavior and you know somebody else likes that person, knows that person, and they have a good respect for each other, uh-huh. like, you could be like, Mama, I need your help with this person. And then mm-hmm. Mama would be like, Hey, I know this person gets along great with this person. Mm-hmm. So right. you bring those two in there and they're okay. able to calm down the situation. Okay. And, 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 that, and that brings me to this question for you, Justin, being that you was a CNA and now you're a nurse. 
for you, when you're dealing with the behaviors, do you depend more on the chemical restraints for that neighbor or resident, or do you depend on, on your CNA to de-escalate those situations? The chemical is really the last thing you want to go to. Mm -hmm. The CNAs are your first line of defense. They're the ones that see the triggers and okay. redirect. Okay. They're the ones that see the behaviors and redirect. Okay. So chemical really is the last thing that we want to do. All right, all right. You really don't want to do that anyway. I mean, because it just takes away from who that person really is. Exactly. Yes. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, so is there any last words? Anybody have any last words they want to say? I think we have a strong team over where we're working because if we weren't strong, we'd all fall apart. Because <laughs> would be out of control. Okay. All yeah, right. I really do. I really love what I do. I love my coworkers. You know, all shifts. I love them. You know, it just it makes you want to come to work each and every day. You know, sometimes when I walk in here, my neighbor just like, I'm here just as much as I am at home. So that mm -hmm. lets you know I love what I do and I do what I love. All right, all right, all right. All right. Anybody there? <laughs> I think, okay, so when I first started, obviously I was, I didn't know what I was going into, but I think with the coworkers that I worked with, uh, I think that they made it way easier for me because if I had any questions, they answered them. I think mm. our communication overall is it's really good. Like even with the nurses, mm. we're really good at like, hey, this is going on. Or like if I need help, oh yeah, sure, I'll help you. So I think like that's really good. Like, I really want to like excel and see how how much further I can go into like the healthcare facility. Yeah, she does. Okay. She, okay. Does. Okay. That is awesome. <laughs> she does. She does. She has an ear. <laughs> Sounds good. And I just want to say thank you to all my CNAs and to every CNA because mm -hmm. you truly are the backbone of your nurse. Uh, without you, your nurse can't do their job. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. All right. So as you guys hear, you know, it, it really equals down to uh, teamwork when you're dealing with different behaviors. Right, and right. communication. And you communication. You have to communicate yeah. with, you know, whether you're skilled, whether you're in behaviors. Especially when you're in behaviors, mm -hmm. you know, because you're dealing with different behaviors and different things. So you have to communicate in order to help each individual and each other. Yeah. So that's very important. Yeah. Wow, we had an amazing show today. Don't you agree, Wendell? We sure did, Angel. And I would like to leave you with this quote. The problem is the unmet need, not the behavior of the resident. Dr. John McCain, psychologist. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Yes, it is. Well, make sure you check us out on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. That's right, Angel. And we would like to thank our special guests for being on the show. And we'd like to thank you for watching the show. And we'll see you next time on Let's Talk CNA for Knowledge is Empowerment. Let's have a conversation. Let's have a conversation. Let's have a conversation.